And hello everybody on YouTube for our next deck. I'm pretty excited to play this one. I made two different uh, brews that today that are kind of built around uh, having lots of lands in play. And so this one up first is going to be more of a control deck where we're basically a Dawn of Hope control deck. We're, we're going to want to get lots of lands in play with the help of Crucible of Worlds and Wayward Swordtooth. They can play extra lands. Thaumatic Compass can either find lands or transform into another land for us. And uh, usually, you know how like whenever you take up Karn a lot, your opponents just keep giving you lands? Well, we can, we can with our extra lands that we'll have with Karn and Vivian, we'll be able to play multiple a turn with Swordtooth out. So we can get lots of lands in play, and then with all that mana, we'll just keep pumping them into 1-1s one and everything like that. So uh, with this, um, we do have, so we have Thaumatic Compass to kind of help help protect us right so like we untap attacking creatures which therefore makes the opponent attack with more attacking creatures than just one and since they have to attack with a lot of creatures then we get to settle the wreckage them that's kind of my plan here with these settle the wreckages um and yeah so we're basically kind of ramping out into like early karn early vivian with the help of land war elf and sword tooth and uh kind of gaining it incidental advantage over and over with those hey kartash so that's what we got going on here. Sideboard is uh, pretty self-explanatory. Honestly, both these decks may be better best of one decks than, than best of three decks, honestly. But my sideboard, I just kind of have basically three cards. I got Honor Guards for Black Green, Dawnbringer for Aggro, and Carnage Tyrant for Control. And then a couple other things. Another Vivian for Control and Drakes, Spyglass for Teferi, uh, Seal Away for Aggro and Drakes. So... That's what we got. So this is gonna be our our first deck of the day. Later on, we'll have Golgari Aggro Lands. If you're watching on YouTube, you can click over to this one uh, later. If you want to check out this one, this is where we're gonna be having Scapeshift. We're gonna be just self milling a ton with this one. Scapeshift, Mending of Dominaria to put all of our lands from our graveyard back into play. World Shaper to put our lands from our graveyard back into play. Try to get tons and tons of lands in play with help of those two cards, and then Sylvan Awakening to make them all two twos. So that one will be fun. Well, we got Selesnia up first, so let's go. Front of the other. Cool, yeah, you've been waiting for me to, to build that one? Yeah, the uh, Mending of Dominaria one. I've been waiting to get, like, the, the rares and stuff, and I only had to use two rare wild cards. I only had to get one more Sylvan Awakening and one more World Shaper. So, yeah, so this is going to be a good lineup today, whatever I mean. Good lineup today. And then I got Grixis Legends as our last deck. Just have another have another kind of brew and fun deck, another brew for Sunday Fun Day. Alright, so this is exactly what we're trying to do. We got Crucible, we got Swordtooth, we got Evolving Wilds. Hey, what's up, Skyloft? We got um, some good stuff. Do I want to... I guess I'll just lead with this Temple Garden. The one cost green sorcery lets a creature explore and you can play an additional land. Yeah, I don't think that that card's very good, honestly. And with this deck, we don't necessarily have a lot of creatures in, that we can put in play. You know, like we have Swordtooth and... Um, yeah, all we have are Swordtooth and Land War Elf. So, like, if our opponent's killing those, then, then that card will just be a dead card because we won't even have a creature to be able to use it on. So, I just don't, don't think it's too necessary for us. So, because I played Temple Garden on turn one, this means this, we're kind of in the awkward spot where we're not going to be able to... Uh, oh, well, now we can. So say we're not going to be able to... Um, Evolving Wild. Or, like, if we play Evolving Wilds, we'll not be able to scry. But I guess now we can if we play the Forest... I don't really want to. I want to play the Evolving Wilds. I want to get this Evolving Wilds going. We play Crucible, play double Evolving Wilds next turn. Oh, that's a good point. We have all the tokens, the Dawn of Hope tokens. Yeah. I still just don't think that it's worth... Just the ability of, of simply ex explore once plus play an additional land. I don't think that that ability is worth um, an entire card. So, like, 
So I don't think it's it's but yeah. It could it does kind of fit the theme. All right, and here we go. And we get our scry here. Gutter snipe is certainly a problem because you know I'm relying on my opponent having to go to combat with stuff like seal away, sell the wreckage, all that kind of thing, all that kind of stuff. Hey, mass. Yep, we are up. I, I made two decks, two new decks here before stream. That's what. That's why I was a little late coming on. I was building the deck still. This is the sound of settling. Ah, uh, you were here at three? Dang, I'm sorry. Sorry I was a little late. My my apologies. Okay. So the one problem with playing Evolving Wilds is we do shuffle these back in. I think I'm actually just going to dump the two lands from my hand. Yeah, I'm gonna shuffle. I'm gonna just dump these two lands from my hand back in. And let's get to attacking. I could build decks on stream. I could I could just start start streaming earlier and build them build them on stream. <laughs> yep, we got Crucible Worlds. The problem is this gutter snipe. This gutter snipe's gonna be a huge problem. Question of the day, do you ever retry decks off stream just for yourself if you felt like I had bad luck for a league? Um, no, I usually just re replay it on stream. Um, I don't play too much I don't play too much off stream. Uh, you know, like the seven hours a day is is enough. Um, I've certainly used to do that and before I started streaming full time. Um, but no, like, like the Jeskai taking turns deck from two days ago, I felt that it, it just had a bad run, right? And and I was a little disappointed, and so that's why I, the next day I just I wanted to play it again. Oh. I should have played my two lands for turn. Yeah, this gutter snipe is just killing me. I will defend my allies. Do I want to? Uh... I kind of want to minus and make a, a large creature. No, I'm going to take up. Kind of forces sure them to attack with more things. Yeah, the up the upkeep trigger just vanished, which is weird. But I did end step scry Karn and I, to the top, and I liked having Karn, so I didn't really mind it too much. Did I click draw? No, I did like the previous turn. Okay. It's really tough. This gutter snipe is is really killing us. 
Uh, Twenty dollars for a donation deck. You can find a lot more information about donation decks under uh, down below in the info panel. Have a lot of information there. Um. What was lost is now returned. Yeah, Nova would be really good. But fortunately, no Nova for us. See the Grixis for yeah. You can find the Grixis Legends deck, uh, exclamation point decks. You can find it there. Me yeah, and this gutter snipe. Being a splash of blue or just going Simic for Tatiova would be valuable. Ooh, Tatiova could be pretty cool. I like Tatiova. Black Plage Reforge, I don't like at all. It just costs so much mana. Um, I'm making Sword Tooth. I mean, like, really what I'm trying to do is win with. Um, win with uh, Dawn of Hope. And just making a lot of tokens is all we need. We just don't need to play a card like, um, we just don't need to play a card like, uh, Black Blade, Black Blade Reforged at all. Yeah, I have, I have nothing for Gutter Snipe. That's, that's, a uh, Gutter Snipe's certainly a, a card I can't beat. So that's really, a uh, unfortunate. I mean, we have we have Dawn of Hope and March of the Multitudes that make life linkers, right? So like we we could theoretically make a bunch of life linkers, but yeah, we'll play Dawnbringer, some more life link. Um, yeah, we can we can maybe race them if we if we have Dawn of Hope or March of the Multitudes. We can maybe lifer numbers. Howdy y'all. Carnage Tyrant? You think I should Carnage Tyrant them? Hey, I'm doing good. I did, um... Why well, no sideboard Ixalons? Because, I don't know, it's, I guess... I guess I didn't I didn't think of Gutter Snipe. There's not really any any other deck I really want Ixalons binding against. But I guess Gutter Snipe's good. Like, against Drakes, we just have... Thaumatic Compass, seal away, sell the records. Like, we're fine against Drakes. I just didn't consider Gutter Snipe. Whoa! We got a, a standard Storm deck. It just needs a sideboard, is which I'm having a big problem in trying to come up with. All right, big donation there. That's a donation to skip the line. All right, let me get to that. Let's see. I need I need to cut three cards. Um... Honestly, I'm cutting. I'm cutting uh, um, Lana War Elf because of all their shocks. The Ravens have a negative two yards passing. That sounds like Baltimore. Um, yeah, let's go ahead. All right, so what's what's our deck here? So we got Standard Storm. Okay, Thousand Year Storm. I have never played Thousand Year Storm. Okay, and then we need a sideboard. I can also do best of one if you if you'd like me to play best of one. Um, I can do that as well. 
This is the Thousand Year Storm deck. No, I, I've never played Thousand Year Storm before in my life. So I can do best of one, or I can uh, make a sideboard and play it there. Since it's way more difficult to purchase specific cards in Arena, would you ever do a donation incentive where you help someone build the best possible deck based on their current collection? Yeah, that actually, yeah, absolutely. That that makes yeah, that's that sounds like a good donation thing to do. Um, I don't know exactly how to do that. I'd have to, you know, of course, I'd have to know their their collection and everything. But yeah, that that sounds like a yeah. I don't know how to how to do that because even if I was just like looking at a list, it'd be kind of hard to to not picture it. Yeah, I don't know exactly how to export the the collection and stuff, but. All right, Seabass, uh, I haven't played it in a league and really curious to see how it plays out. What sideboard would you... Okay, okay. Well, I'll brew up a sideboard then. We'll do it. All right, so Seabass, are you good for after Abzan midrange there? Because that's another donation deck, so I want to keep that one on schedule. The same schedule we had before, but then I'll throw you up there next. Does that sound Okay. Right there. Cool. You'll be on for after that. Perfect. Um. All right, land time. You do a video call and do it that way. Screen sharing. Yeah, I'm not sure. That that kind of donation may be something to do off stream. That that may be easier to help somebody with off stream. Like I have I have like the donation donation stuff down there of like helping somebody with their deck um, off stream. Maybe that would be what that would be about there. Get this planes. There we go. The other good thing about getting all these um, like doing evolving wilds over and over is because theoretically we'll stop drawing lands, right? I mean, we just drew a basic forest. So like drawing a basic is, is the worst possible scenario here. We just drew a basic. You just build a deck, just add all the cards and then export. Just add all the cards, then export. Have them stream in Twitch, then you'd have their list of all their cards. No attack from the opponent. Um. Let's see if this is nothing. Throwing a couple of basics for my hand into play. Um, to have some more untapped mana. Even though, I guess I should have put one tap land in. I should have done one Evolving Wilds, so because I'd still have four mana for Settle. But. Yeah, I could do. Probably do Arena Pro Tracker and Export. Inescapable Blaze, that's rude. Me? 
Meet my newest friend. Ooh. You're a Dawnbringer. Um. I don't even think it's really worth it to... So I'm, I'm going to play the Field of Ruin because now I have five mana to activate Arch of Orozka. Oh, that's that's my second... Oh, I only get one land drop a turn now. Right, I only get one land drop because Swordtooth is dead. I want to do a take on your Naya value deck, but do Abzan value. I think that sounds reasonable or just worse than Naya. Yeah, I, I started with Abzan Bugler first, and I actually really did like Naya more um, from from playing it. It's like expansion. This looks like expansion targeting la Lava Coil for how they're waiting like this. The biggest decks that Storm of tr Trouble against are Control, Drakes, and very good aggro starts. Okay. Okay. Yeah, like, I could definitely see, like, a Danto Vanguard being a huge problem, and then, yeah, other decks with a lot of counter magic. Suzu, hey, good evening. This game's going pretty good for us. I mean... We're untapping with a Vivian for the for the second time, so. Come to me. There was Dawn of Hope. Um, draw. See if we find Sword Tooth. Hey, there's Sword Tooth. Start playing some of these lands. Um, we did put a we put a Dawn of Hope towards the bottom, so I think we want to shuffle. I think we have one more basic, two more basics. Okay, I'm going to get one basic out right now, and then I'll throw this Temple Garden in there. This is probably better just to get both basics out of the deck. Yeah, I guess it's, it's just simply better to get the other basic out than the deck. All right, we gotta just find a Dawn of Hope. <laughs> yeah, we can just keep cycling wilds just for fun after that. All right, Vivian's at four loyalty, which means I get to minus and keep it around, which I do want to minus Vivian. It looks like they made, oh, they're gonna copy Crackling Drake. I guess we have a March of the Multitudes. Um. Stick up. No one knows the wilds like I do. <laughs> yeah, we're kind of out of lands, aren't we? And we'll have double settle if they have a counter spell for the first one. Your Twitch keeps popping up saying trying to reconnect. I don't know. That's weird. You already tried restarting Twitch. I don't know, anybody else getting anything like that? Or have gotten anything like that? And I don't know. Alright, so a bunch of Crackling Drakes. That would, I guess, yeah, actually, Skyloft, I guess that would work. Yeah, that would probably be easier than trying to use some kind of collection thing. But then, oh, wait, but then I'd have to, like, log out here. Hmm. I'm not sure. I Tarkuji control deals damage equal to its power to target player. Wow, our opponent just not ever needing to attack with like these spells. It's really a problem. All right, so I have 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16. So march for 13. 
And I guess that's lethal. No, I should just... I mean, I should minus Vivian first, but it's lethal. Okay, so that could be a setup for the future. Yeah. Yeah, that probably is the easiest way. Yeah, I guess it's... Yeah, it's lethal, which is why I just went to attack. But then I... After I attacked, I mean, I knew it was lethal. I was like, well, I should have just, just used Vivian first, but... Oh, well. Yeah, so this could certainly be problematic with that Gravitic Punch and with Gutter Snipe. Cards where my opponent does not need to attack. They have really wanted to play around Settle the Wreckage a lot, even though I haven't actually shown them Settle the Wreckage. In American slang. Yeah, it looks like we're just going to have to race them. I think that's the plan. Still, still, just like our first two games of this deck, though, it's been pretty fun. You know, like, I've played a lot of lands with Swordtooth and Crucible, and it's been fun. Even if, like, you know, this deck may not be, like, the best deck ever, but... I'll say what we're doing over here... Yeah, it's it's just awesome having 17 lands. I like what we're doing over here. Hey, After Wizard, doing really good. Hope you're having a good Sunday. Hey, Vladimus! Starting the Sunday off good with some biddies. Thanks for the bits, Vladimus. Very kind. Yeah, uh, yeah, we actually played Elf Ball yesterday on stream, actually. <laughs> we actually played some of that. Um, it worked out pretty good. I think we went 4-2 and two with the deck. Um, and uh, let's see... I was playing a little bit off the beaten path version just a tad because I was playing four Vivian in the main deck with it. And of course Vivian's great, so. Yeah. Yeah, we're trying to counter the land destruction deck. <laughs> Our main deck Crucible of Worlds. Just to get them. That's what that's really what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get paired up against a land destruction deck. How to sub? Yeah. There should be a subscribe button in like the top left hand or top right hand corner for you, which I guess would be this way, up there, maybe somewhere up there. Wait, up, up there. Um. I'm gonna keep seal away available. Um, if not, uh, there there's a link right there going through there. Hey, holidays was good. Um. Spent my holidays here streaming, of course. But definitely had a good time with it. Alright. See the way. That's okay. We'll have another seal away right here. Is it worth splashing red for bane fire? I don't think so. I think, like, March of the Multitudes is, like, our bane fire, basically. Um, I know it's not uncounterable, but, you know, I, just, I don't think it's too necessary. Hey, there we go. Real rank. Thank you so much for the support there. I do appreciate it. And hope you enjoy all the, the awesome, sweet emotes. Hope you throw hypotes out there and everything. Our curious choice. <laughs> Do you want to give me Vivian or Vivian? Ah, uh, Vivian? Okay. 
Vivian is very good against Fire Mind's research. No Thousand Year Storm deck list on deck on Stream Decker. No, um, just got donated that deck during this match here. So, um, I have a link to what we have so far. We're we're gonna need to make a sideboard as well together here on stream. But that's the main deck. And I'm just going to play Vivian and kill... I think I just kill the Fire Mines Research. The problem with killing the Fire Mines Research... Oh, I got another Vivian that I can get with Karn. Beasts okay, I was going to say, like, I, I kind of wanted to keep Vivian for a removal spell for a Drake. But we have we have a, another Vivian here that we can minus Karn and go grab. Uh, don't know what this thing does. Even though it's Gilda Ravnica and I drafted a bunch of Gilda Ravnica. Never really took this. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell that targets only it, you, if you control one or more other creatures, that spell could target. Choose those one of those creatures. Copy that spell. Alright, so you can make a lot of stuff with... So with... um, What's it called? Quasi-duplicate. You can make a lot of those things. I wish I would have ticked up Vivian now and, and grabbed that grabbed that sword tooth. But maybe we'll find another sword tooth or a Lyrodon bringer. I've seen things that would break some Record like with you. Rakdos Burn. Um Don't quite remember. Played Rakdos. I've only played it once, kind of recently, and then I I played it a whole lot before. I've only played it like once recently. Played it a lot, like at the beginning of the format, while still building my collection up. Um, but I don't remember what we had with it exactly. Nah, Field of Ruin only destroys non-basics, so we can't get rid of the mountain. I'm glad that they negated Crucible Worlds because we have another, so that's good for us. Uh, my plan next turn is to use Karn to go grab the Wayward Sword Tooth. They are tapping the Mountain right away in like the auto tap, so I'm not thinking that they have red spells in their hand. It looks like they just have blue spells. We'll get an upkeep stop in here. Or they, they discarded Gravitic, Gravitic Punch, which is good for me. Oh, yeah, yeah, you forgot the Kappa. Ah. Yep. I'm a survivor. Alright, I'll keep. Right. I'll take Settle. Yeah, we'll take Settle. The wilds are my shield. Yeah, that, yeah, that Kappa one means, like, basically, like, just kidding, kind of. Um, like, they're not serious. The time has come. Combo. Sword Tooth plus Crucible. Mm 
Got the combo. Like, does that even... Yeah, so now that, that copies an Electromancer also, does that really help them too much? I mean, well, copying Electromancers are good, but yeah, these are just a bunch of 2-2s. Two um, let's take up here. You can't stop nature. So they know about Dawnbringer. This will aid us. I do have treasure map also. I'll just play these two lands. So I have settle, settle available plus treasure map. Oh, I had two counters on treasure map already. Yeah, and then gravitic punch. Oh yeah, because that's gonna that's gonna copy all those, isn't it? Oh yeah, Gravitic Punch is a huge problem. I forgot about copying Gravitic Punch. The Barnzo sub in for the second month in a row. Thanks for that continued support, Barnzo. You are a rock star. Yeah, I have five because I wanted the extra one. I wanted four for settle and the extra one for treasure map, but I didn't really need the extra one for treasure map considering we were going to get treasures there. Balance comes. Right. I think we just make it just make a token. So does it so Gravitic Punch will target all of these and deal eight damage to me? Does that sound right? <laughs> there is great power in the things we make. It only copies once? Okay. Alright, so there's a shock, so they probably have Crackling Drake here. Yeah. Now they can quasi duplicate the Crackling Drake or the Beam Spitter Mage and Crackling Drake. All right, so now how much can we march for? Um, that's three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can march for nine and not use any of these treasures. Just you settle. Now we can march for five, which is not as good. We just use three treasures and make it eight. All right, we'll just make it eight. I don't really need that token to be big.
My next march is gonna be huge. I keep saying good game. That can't help. But then you, you know we're just continuing to play and everything. Like why do they keep saying good game? Some solutions must be built. The reason I guess not to use treasure would be to keep the these tokens being pretty big. Okay, so they're conceding there. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. I did not have lethal, but yeah, I guess they would have to block with their creatures, and then yes, yeah, so then they wouldn't have the rest though. All right. Got the win. Okay, got to delete a deck. What are we deleting? I'm never playing that band control deck. All right, let's let's just put this thousand year storm up, up here. Ah, so let's just have this ready to go. Spell pierce, shock, syncopate, opt. Lightning Strike, Electromancer, Radical Idea, Wizard's Lightning, Chemistry's Insight, Uh, too many storm cards. Thousand year storm. All right, and then our mana base. Not runaway steam kin, but runaway steam vents. Sulfur falls. I just have too many of something. Oh, right, because they already put a bunch of islands and mountains there also already. Um, right, it should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 and 8. But then 8 and 8 puts me at 61. Did I miss something? One of these are 3 of. 3 Spell Pierce, 3 Syncopate. Four, 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 three insight. There we go. Okay. All right, Skyloft. Cool. Yeah, we can figure out the deck tech idea. Yep. A Johnny Wise Counselor. I don't think so. I don't know this, a Johnny Wise Counselor. Gain a life for each creature you control. Creatures you control get plus two, plus two until end of turn. Heck, that's really not that bad. There could be something there, maybe. Isn't Pirate's Pillage supposed to be in this deck? Ugh, not our version, I suppose. But I guess everybody's saying that we're supposed to be playing Pillage. Um, storm. All right. Well, we'll we'll consider putting pillage in the deck. 
and do our sideboarding later. But I just wanted to get that set up. Dun dun. But we are currently 1 0 with Selesnya control lands. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, so it just more con makes it more consistent and ramps into Storm better. And then whenever you're actually doing your stuff with Storm, then you get extra mana because the treasures give you extra mana. And because you copy it, and so you start getting a lot of treasures. And then you have lots more mana to do other stuff. That makes sense. Um, I think we're going to have to mulligan this. I really like mulliganing it. We are playing a lands deck. I like I like having lands. Okay, it's still good. Okay, see bass. You're good. Alright, so you're good with changing it some? Okay, cool. Alright, turn turn three. Turn three Vivian. That's pretty good, Hawkeye. Turn three Vivian. I've actually never played against Vivian the Arcbow before. So you're ahead of me. So I don't, I don't think it's a good Planeswalker. I've never seen it ever before. Hey, what's up, Stroud? Woo! You get to just kill that thing? I think I like killing that over ticking Vivian up. No, Vivian's gonna be weak to a I shock to if I do that. To lose to you. Maybe I tick up and make sure it doesn't die to shock. We're gonna tick down next turn. The wilds are my shield. Um Okay, he came up with the deck when they had the Cascade event going on, and it was really busted in, with a thousand-year storm on the field. Gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. Um. And yeah, destroying this no now. Like I said, I didn't want I didn't want Vivian to go down to two loyalty. Um just pass the turn. I'll just activate Thalmatic Compass. Yeah, Deckmaster should be up and working. Refresh your stream if it's not working, then hopefully that that works. Yeah, Lou, turn up. This is this is arena. Hey, hi, Shin. Good evening. Woo! Crucible. No one knows the wilds like I do. That's our combo. We're gonna get Sword Tooth and play first. I think Sword Tooth is probably more. Oh, I guess I can just get them both in play. Yeah, Crystal's better than the treasure map. Let's get them both in play. Oh, Spell Pierce. Oh, come on. Boo, opponent. Boo. Uh, I have a lot of ties. Maybe. I'm known for my excellent timing. Maybe 70-ish. Around there. 
Hold that thought. Yeah, I don't I don't do the the mythic stuff, Zach. I don't play the rank stuff. I do best two out of three matches. Hmm. Kill the fairies gonna be that tough. Would break someone like you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So one more permanent. And we'll have the city's blessing. But it's likely that they have a seal away or... You know, it's just very likely they have a seal away or a uh, ju justice strike. If they're willing to play Teferi and... Because they know that one permanent I'm attacking. You need it to find constructed best of three. You need to toggle a switch that's that's right around where my where my mouse is. It's right around this area of the screen. There's a there's a switch you need to toggle. Man, that crucible get encountered. Real rough. Yep, you can have your seal away. D Mac, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for subscribing there, DMAC. You're sub number three on the day. Do appreciate that support. Cool, yeah. I think Pirate's Pillage over Inside sounds like a good idea to me as well. Pirate's Pillage with Thousand Year Storm, because you just want to copy that and make a whole lot of treasures. You need to take a time out. Well, that's not a good play by the opponent. That's not really good play by the opponent. Because I get to just draw the Vivian again. Because of my treasure map. I get to just draw Vivian, kill Niv-Mizzet, and now kill Teferi as well. I've lost so much. <laughs> get that out of here. That was all on the battlefield there. Like, thank you for letting me get rid of Niv Mizzet and Teferi. Sorry, no time for a break. Hey, say Mott. Holiday was very good. Just, you know, been here streaming. Still, um, you know, getting the work done, and it's been, it's been very good. Yeah, I think they forgot about Treasure Map. Yep. Take another sword tooth. Hopefully no settle, seal away, that kind of stuff. Hopefully this actually connects. They got two cards in hand. Ah, just a strike. Take a come to me. Alright, there's the other crucibles going down to the bottom. I don't really want that. So let's activate Thaumatic Compass. Get a land back out. So we, we shuffled our library with that Thaumatic Compass. So we get that Crucible back in there. Yeah, I'm excited to play the Thousand Year Storm deck. I've never played that card at all, ever, um, in anything. Never, never had it in limited or, or anything. All right, so they're tucking the sword too. They're down to only one card in hand. Yet. Just whatever card they just drew. Okay. I will fight with you. Oh. So. To my little friend. What do I want to do with this Vivian? I guess I want to take it up. I kind of want a minus. But Balance we just can't. Comes. We can't afford. We can't afford it to die. Alright, Lana War Elf. Go attack Teferi. 
want me to phase you out of time? I doubt they're playing a basic planes in their niv mizzet deck. So I could feel the ruin like Sacred Foundry. Keep them out of like double white. Our opponent adding red mana like it like it matters. Oh, they do have basic planes. Hurry. All right, making another Allow thing. So they make a two two. Uh three three. Alright, so I think they scry to the bottom. So if I if I minus Vivian and kill one of these three threes, then we can kill Teferi. Feel the wrath Let's do that. of Scala. I could I could just play new Vivian, kill this one, and then I get to kill Karn and Teferi. I want to kill both Karn and Teferi. Yeah. Seal away is an enchantment, though. Like I can kill, I can kill Seal away, and get Swordtooth back. I don't think that's worth it. I think getting rid of both the Planeswalkers is worth it, though. I know they still have Treasure Map, How but Treasure Map's pretty goes. slow. It's up to you, pal. We'll have a, we'll have a Vivian in play. Means retribution. No, you cannot use Thaumatic Compass on, on your own creature. Um, on, right there. Untapped target attacking creature and opponent controls. So... No, it's not like like regular Maze of Ith you could use on on your creatures, but this is like fixed Maze of Ith where you can, can only use it on your opponent opponent's creatures. Yeah, if the token became a one one, it, it would still be able to to block and keep one of their their planeswalkers you alive. You can't stop nature. Ugh. Well, let's certainly shuffle all those cards, those good cards back that we just put on the bottom. cards exactly the cards we want wish I would have cracked the treasure first but let's shuffle them back there we go Don of Hope we're in there Don of Hope we're in there so I can activate it twice right now yeah, opponent's dead. Basically dead. They have whiffed a few times here. They got a lot of lands. Even with their treasure map scrying, they have been whiffing. Meet my newest friend. another basic out. I don't really need to make more more one ones too quickly here. Did I already play? I guess I already played two lands. I didn't realize I already played two lands. I mean our opponent could draw settle the wreckage. We're not like that like they're not necessarily dead here. I'm not BMing like I'm pl I'm playing 
out my deck. Okay, they do not settle. They had like Niv, like you know, because they're get getting to draw two cards there because of the treasure. If they draw like Niv Mizzet and settle, they get to like play Niv Mizzet and then also have settle. That would have been really scary. I don't even know if we win that. All right, so we want the other Vivian. Seal away and settle, not so good. Let's get Spyglass, Carney T. I have four Carnage Tyrants. That's a lot of Carnage Tyrants. Um, Thaumatic Compass, not too necessary. Seal away does answer, does answer Niv Mizzet, but I think we're just gonna have Vivians for Niv Mizzet. Vivian enough? Yeah, it probably is. I mean, Seal Wing and Niv Mizzet is just so... such a small chance that, that that actually happens and or works. Right? I don't think... I mean, it may be better than Thaumatic Compass, though. Thaumatic Compass does get us some basics. So, like, I mean, it does, like, help us get some basics out of our deck, and it does flip into another land. So, like, so it does provide some good mana. Crucible in the deck to hit a lot more land drops. Crucible works with Evolving Wilds uh, to just get a whole lot more lands out of the deck. Um, and especially if you have a Sword Tooth out where you get to play two lands a turn. Yeah, Crucible is just basically extra land drops, so like drawing cards. Yeah. Well, the, the Dinosaur does not get haste. If I would have minus Vivian... And get the dinosaur. It doesn't get haste. I would still have to wait till the next turn before I could attack with it. So I couldn't just attack for lethal there. Oh, what happened? I was answering questions. I didn't realize I was running out of time. I think I just ran out of time. Oh no, that's bad. I I wanted to sideboard all those carnage tyrants in. Hmm. Yep. That's that's unfortunate. Oh, the crucibles are good. I I think the deck may need three crucibles. Crucible is very strong. The third crucible was one of my last cuts. Yeah, the plans to march are Dawn of Hope. To have the main win con there. Yeah, I wish this settle the wreckage was a Carnage Tyrant. Good old auto tap. Telling us they didn't have a negate. I am Khan. You may regret I am that Khan. choice. What was our other card? Treasure map. Aha! Gonna sell the wreckage then, but. Them getting a lot of lands is probably bad for me, though. Well chosen. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Why not run the white memorial? I probably should have the white memorial in here. Yeah, I should probably be in here.
Yeah, definitely wish these settled wreckages were Carnage Sirens. Please stop. I am not going to see. We need to move quickly. Alright, so I'm gonna go get Wayward Sword Tooth and put that into play. Return. You know what? I'm not done yet. Hmm. They may not have a lot of basics left in their deck. Alright, so they obviously know about the settle the wreckage. Let's just get it out of our get out of our hand. We know they have a basic planes. But they probably don't have tons of basics. They're a three-color deck. Okay, well, they had Island, Island, Mountain, so they certainly have more basics. But they're going to, you know, play around that settle forever, Keep of course. Up the pace. Glad we got the first game. With not sideboarding here. I'd be a lot more upset if we were down a game and we didn't get to sideboard. You are only hurting yourself. Oh, we know about two plane, two basic planes? Did, did you think about including the spell which transforms all lands into tutus? Uh, not in this this version, no. I think Dawn of Hope's a better card than that. I gotta just play another Dawn of Hope. That one's in. That's gonna be in the Golgari deck. Cause like, even though we we get a, a decent amount of lands in play, we don't really like. For that card to be. Worth it. Let's you have to have a, to good an part. unbelievable amount of lands in play. Like, way more than what we even have. Or you have to be attacking a bunch. We're not really done. Please do not do that. If they, if they ultimate the Teferi, I'm conceding. Until you have lived as a statue, do not have good choice. Okay. Yeah, I don't even have Spyglass. <laughs> I'll make you in my deck that. either. I'm not. Let's just go and actually get our sideboard cards in. All right. So Legion War Boss. I have like two Dawnbringers in for War Boss and assorted other things. I'll have those in instead of the Thalmatic Compass. I don't love Dawn Dawnbringer in this matchup, though. But it could be good against their sideboard plan. We need lands. There we go. This has lands. 
Ooh, that's another land, but that's a great land. I may shuffle it away with this Evolving Wilds. Yeah, I think I'm gonna shuffle it away. Oh, whoops, I meant to shuffle it away. So much for that, I guess I'm not playing Treasure Map. Definitely meant to shuffle that away and play Treasure Map. Um, hmm. Don't really want any of these to get countered. Don't really want any of these to get countered. I guess I'm going Crucible, though. Because next turn we get to double spell. Definitely don't mind having Archer Verasca now that our um, now that our uh, Crucible was countered. I like having the extra lands. I'll keep stop. Bottom. There we go. That's a good one. That's a good one. I'll keep stop again. Wait. No, I'm not going to upkeep stop here because I want six mana because I want to be able to make a 1 1 and uh, draw a card. I, I don't care that that spyglass was spell pierce. That spell pierce is going to trade with the spell anyway. I don't. I don't regret not playing a land before. War boss is still definitely going to be, you know, kind of difficult to deal with. It'd be good to get like a Carnage Tyrant or something like that. But Dawn of Hope will help slow it down. Trust me. You know what? I'm not done yet. Yeah, no, the opponent's hand has been, you know, really good. The negates, Bell Pierce, Legion, War Boss, Teferi. It's just, it's very good. Upkeep, scry. Alright, that's a good one. I'll be able to stay alive a little longer. Let's Still in a really to tough spot. We're gonna be able to survive a little bit more. The game's not over yet. And Ral also? You're oh, come on. I just want to peek. The weight is killing me. So, certainly assuming the opponent's not going to attack with War Boss. And in case we'll take three. They are attacking with War Boss. Whoa. Yeah, you should not be attacking the war boss there. Okay. We'll take six and go to three. Nope. Not taking six.
Taking three. Um. Scry bottom. We got no one planeswalker down. And then I'm just gonna make two one ones and block two two twos. I'll take one one total damage. Now I should I'll block a one one and a two two. Ooh, that's what they, we got. You know, just attack out. Hey Westifer, it's going very well. I'm glad you're enjoying the streams. Thanks for the the support there. No, it, Ixalan's Binding does not stop the Phoenix from entering the battlefield, no. No. No attack with War Boss means we get to just trade with these 1-1s. One -ones. Take zero. Do I use two treasures to draw one card? If I do that, we're looking at four, eight, ten, ten mana next turn. If I don't do it, we're looking at nine mana, plus like the treasure drawing a card. And decline. Well, I'm, I'm blaming Sverz and Extra Brass. That Nexus is your fault. Hmm. Yep, and now that's lethal. Time. War boss is lethal with the uh, Nexus. Dang. 1-1. One, one. Big part of losing that was not having... So you know, not sideboarding in game two. And then game three, we had six cards. They were it was a good six card hand. But our opponent our opponent had a really, really strong hand on the game three. Our six card hand couldn't keep up. But just we kinda threw away game two and that without sideboarding, that really hurt us. Yeah, blame in chat for saying that. Alright, we'll go ahead and keep this. Well, I mean, so if you if you just exile Ixalan's Binding, they can't cast it anymore. But it doesn't keep if they have what I'm saying is if they have the if they have the egg token in play and then they have Phoenix in the graveyard, the Phoenix Phoenix will come back with the egg token. But if you just exile Phoenix with anything with Ixalan's Binding, it won't come back because they won't have the egg token. Um, and yeah, see the way you can you can use like Resplendent Angel to exile their graveyard if you kill it. And then it'll be like if you can just exile it from the graveyard, that's something that deals with it. Okay, all right, whatever, main. Uh, I'll uh, we'll we'll do that right after right after this whenever we get to there. Um. All right, we need to be we need to start scrying towards sell the wreckages. Likely, those things fly. Diamond Mare. They really want to gain life. Oh, are we talking? Oh, are we talking rekindling? I mean, are we talking arc? Yeah, I thought we were talking rekindling. Oh, it's arc light. Yeah, arc light will just will just come in, into the battlefield no matter what. So you you just need to exile it from the graveyard. So you just have to use stuff like. Um, you have to use stuff like Remorseful Cleric and things like that to keep it from entering the battlefield. I don't 
don't think I needed to settle the wreckage the next turn. Yeah, I'll take I'll take a land war off. Yeah, I meant Remorseful Cleric, sorry. I mix those two up quite a bit. I'm just speaking. <laughs> Thanks, Smooth Reborn. Yeah, you can find my playlist here on Spotify there. Hey, Radical Guru. Or I would like to just hit a land drop, I think, here. Am I... I said... I th yeah, see, I thought I had that stop on upkeep, because it says main to get to my main phase, so why did it just draw my card? I wanted to scry. There. I guess I'll go to main. Upkeep stops are janky. Um, if I play Dawn of Hope, I have to use two treasures to cast Settle the Wreckage. It's not really worth it. I guess I just cast Settle here. Because if the opponent has like other ground creatures, I don't really mind with Dawn of Hope. Can take care of ground creatures. I guess Vivian can take care of one flyer. I have to use one treasure to scry with that treasure map. It's probably not worth it. I hadn't seen the movie. Yeah, I heard it was really good though too. What is the most reliable to to beat Golgari Explorer? That's a tough one. Golgari Explorer is, in my opinion, the the best deck, and there's not really a a deck that reliably beats it. There are certainly decks that can beat it and everything, but but it. I don't think anything really reliably beats it. Yeah, I know I could scry with the elf. I'm saying if I want to scry with the other treasure map, I would have to use a counter here. That's what I was thinking. I was already scrying with the first one. Alright, Karn will just be able to hit land drops. I mean, so does Vivian. I'm gonna play Karn and just keep ticking up. I will fight for my friends. I think we're gonna win this. Decision. Down, 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 down. Um, <clears throat> no, I don't really need to make five fives. I'm, already, I'm set up very good to win a, a late game. I don't think I need to use my resources to make a couple five fives and hope that those five fives win. I think just continuing to to gain more resources, we're set up very good. Hey, Versify. Pretty surprising between Karn tick up and also draw a card with Treasure Cove, we didn't hit a land. I've only seen four lands so far, it's kind of surprising. Um, we're going to know all the cards on the 11th, and it will be released on Arena on the... Uh, 
Um, on the 17th. The choices we make reveal who we are. Oh, auto tap. You lied to me. Auto tap showed up these five lands. So I thought I was going to tap these five and keep Treasure Cove untapped. Auto tap lied to me. The wild wasn't meant to be contained. I got six mana right now for Thaumatic Compass. Draw and fire. I can I can play treasure map and then use or we can activate treasure map, use one treasure to play Thaumatic Compass and flip it. I think it's worth it. We'll use one treasure to get Thaumatic Compass in play. So, oh well. Treasure Cove, you're fine. Cause Thaumatic Compass will turn into a maze of it. And yeah, we got this game. This game's pretty easily won. Now that's seven mana. And yeah, we're just we're just green white control. Selesnia so control. We can start getting these wayward sword tooths. So we're going to have a lot more lands. Can't wait for this weekend. My LGS is having a tournament where top 8 split is a case of the new set when it's released. Ooh. Man, good luck, Vladimus. What are you playing? Have you determined what you're playing yet, I guess? I have a gift of paradise on my land, but whenever I tap it manually, it only gives me one mana instead of two. What do I need to do to get my two mana manually? I think you need to tap it for a different color besides what it is. Like if it's a forest, tap it for white or like one of the other things, then it'll automatically give you two. You can't stop nature. I'm not sure if that works for if it's if you tap it for one of the other colors. Action is needed. Sweet. Play nine value? Nice. I approve there. Play Dawn of Hope? No. Yeah, I can play Dawn of Hope. Stop. Auto tap, stop messing me up. I want to I want to crack these treasures for the treasure cove. They keep doing the wrong things. Cool, Radical Guru. Yeah, glad you're enjoying that deck too. Dawn of Hope's my, my main win con. March of the Multitudes also helps, but Dawn of Hope just making a bunch of 1-1s one is probably the, the main win con. March is a little faster. Played Grixis Pirates to FNM and actually won. Nice. Did you have the, the Grixis Pirate Lord, Admiral Beckett Brass, in your deck? Oh, it has next. I haven't paid attention to the the paper prices. I'm not surprised at all. Nexus of Fate jumping in price. It looks incredible with that new green enchantment. Looks like they're just it's just built for Nexus of Fate. Dude. Yeah, Nexus of Fate, not a fun card to play against at all. I had a lot of fun playing it, like with the that Jess guy taking turns deck we played, but it's not it's not a good card for standard. It's really not, and um, we're about to see a whole lot more Nexus of Fate. Yeah, with Electro Dominance too. I mean, I think there's just going to be a teamer teamer instant Come big mana me. deck with those kind of things. That'll probably be a deck Electro Dominance. 
is it Wilderness Reclamation? Is that the name of the card? Nexa Fate. Yeah, Jared, absolutely. There's a march. You can get another land. All right, there's another land. I guess I don't actually have another land, so I don't really need to minus one Karn and get the other Sword Tooth right now, because um, I don't have another land drop. So I, w I would like a Crucible. I'll make use of that later. Okay, or well, there's just other land drop. How can we make Blue even more obnoxious? Uh, does Watsi ever change card once they're released? Uh, not very, very slightly and not very often, but just be like slight changes. Two cards in standard right now that, that were changed since they were released were Hostage Taker and Teferi. Hostage Taker originally just said exile target creature or artifact. And it didn't say like besides Hostage Taker. So if there was nothing on the battlefield and you just played a Hostage Taker, the game would just end in a draw because it would just exile itself and then since it got exiled, it would return to the battlefield and then exile itself and then return to the battlefield and exile itself and so on over and over and over again. Which is pretty ridiculous. And so immediately after printing that, like even before it was released, whenever like they had the preview cards up, people were like, wait a minute, this isn't, how'd you miss this? And so he, before it was even released, um, they changed that. Um, and then recently, after Teferi had been out for a while, they, they decided to change it where it was up to two, up to two, or, yeah, untap up to two lands. And it wasn't just automatically untap two lands. Um, so it was untap two lands automatically until Gills of Ravnica came out. So if you didn't have any lands to untap, but your opponent had lands to untap, you had to untap your opponent's lands. Um, and that was silly, and so they just changed that. Oh, the Is It Split card? That one might have been changed also. I don't remember that one. I don't remember the errata on that one. Yeah, you could always float mana to untap, but on like on like Magic Online, if you're playing on Magic Online and you just click the trigger to like you know go and you don't flo float your, like in paper, you're just like yeah, tap two mana. You know you just communicate with your opponent. It didn't matter. But on Magic Online, you like, you just you wouldn't necessarily always just float mana, and even if you did, it was just annoying to do that. So like it would just force you to untap your opponent's lands, and sometimes they'd have like an Argle's Bloodfast or something in play where they were like, oh cool, I got extra mana. Let me use that. Yeah, so they made to very I guess. I guess it's buffing Teferi. But they made it less annoying to play. Alright, more Dawnbringer, more Seal Away, less... What? Less... All of our cards are good. Um, I've just got five cards here. I don't even know what to cut. Like I, I like everything in our deck. Um, do I just... Take out Sword Tooth, Vivian. Doesn't make sense to take out Vivian against a bunch of angels. Less Karn. I'm gonna do less Karn. Two Karn, one Sword Tooth. Two March the Multitudes. I'm just gonna March the Multitudes. Whatever. I don't need those. Nah, Compass and Seal Away are great. Hey, you got gold tier one ranked. Good job. Oh, right. They didn't print until end of turn. That's right. The the is it split card said switch target creatures power and toughness. And it's supposed to be until end of turn. But whenever they originally printed it, it did not say until end of turn. So it was just switch target creatures power and toughness. Which, you know, is like, you know, Definitely presents problems, especially in paper. You're trying to track that. Like, you have two, you know, two of whatever creature in play, and like one of them 
is like one that got its power and toughness switched and the other one wasn't. And it, and then it's also like, does it get switched until it goes to the graveyard or is it, yeah, it was, it was pretty silly. So yeah, it was, it was definitely supposed to be until end of turn and they just forgot to write the words until end of turn. Um, don't really need to just play Thaumatic Compass immediately, so we'll just play another Evolving Wilds. No, it wasn't gain control of target creatures, switch the power and toughness. Yeah, so that's so that was that problem, was they, they just wrote the card wrong. It wasn't like Hostage Shaker where they just missed that. I probably should not have kept the hand with zero removal in it. Yeah, I really should not have kept the hand against zero with zero removal in it. Taking five a turn. Operator, please. Down, 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 down. So I'm gonna want to carn and make tokens. Um, I'm going to play treasure map and scry and then next turn play crucible get evolving wilds back and then the following turn play Karn and make a token that may be too slow I could and scry on end step and upkeep and just play thaumatic compass. Yeah, our opponent has five damage a turn right now. Honestly, I should probably just keep on tap land and just play Karn and minus Karn. Karn will make a 2-2, two -two, which would only trade to the Vanguard. If, they want, if they'd want to attack all out at Karn, they'd be able to kill Karn. But I think that's certainly worth it where we're at in the game. Killing a Vanguard and I have faced saving the life. Awaken. The longer the game goes with these thaumatic compasses, like we'll be looking, doing a lot better. But we got to get to, you know, seven mana, or whatever. Okay, they're just going after me. It's good news for me. Play this. Play this. Play this. Play this. Play that. All right, next turn, double compass. But our opponent just not having any lands. It's really allowed us to win this. Yeah. Sorry, opponent. Poor opponent. All right, two and one. Deck's not doing so bad. Green, white. Selesnia control lands. Getting there. Two out of three opponents is Demir with top hand. What's top hand? Yeah, they just had. I guess that was their turn. That was their turn six, and they still had, still had one mana. Rough. Yeah, we were about to have our turn six. I feel like you do what I do. You make decks built around fun mechanics. You just do a little better job than I do. Oh, well, thanks, Sigtin. But yeah, that's that's what I like to do. I like to build around a few cards. Um, 
you know, here I was like, I want to play Swordtooth and Crucible. That's where we started with this deck. And kind of went from there. Um... Hmm. I'm not going to upkeep Scry. I'm going to hopefully hit the land drop. Or, like, hopefully draw land. I'm not going to... Sweet. I say I'm not going to upkeep Scry to, to make sure, but... So I can play Sword Tooth and play a land there. And now I can have Vivian next turn. Let's definitely Scry on end step. I guess I'll, I'll likely not want to Scry on upkeep. That's rude. Bottom. All right. Uh, upkeep, we're just drawing our card, hoping it's a land, so I get to slam Vivian. Not a land, not slamming Vivian. Uh, I guess it's bombatic compass time. I don't even have the mana to activate compass. First deck I built in Arena is based on Etrata's ability. Okay. I, that's not a card that I, I myself have ever really wanted to play too much, but I can certainly respect that. Alright, then we're just going to have to sell the record to some creatures. Karn. Yeah. Karn can make like a big token. Nah, I don't want Karn. I'd rather play Vivian. Uh, yeah, we're using a treasure for what for our other white mana. I could have like shocked in with the temple garden so I didn't have to use a treasure, but I think shocking in just kind of really tells my opponent what's going on too easily there. So I didn't want to do that. And the wilds are my shield. And that's seven lands, so Thalmatic Compass will transform. So we'll be able to protect Vivian with Thalmatic Compass, but they obviously could have... Um, obviously could just have Brass's Contempt, but we're hoping not. Okay. Let's find another Settle. Do I still have that settle down at the bottom? I do. I should have. I probably should have activated Spires over Roscoe just to shuffle. Balance comes. I'm going to wait a turn before March of the Multitudes. Get these other things in play first. I can double block Vivian if that opportunity, or double block Carnage Tyrant if that opportunity presents, presents itself. It's not likely. I'll have Lana War Elves. Jump the Carnage Tyrant, though. Well, let's see. Because even if they have Cast Down and they get, like, both of these things, I don't really care about that. Yeah, because I would, I would single block the the Carnage Tyrant anyway just to, to keep uh, Vivian alive for another turn. Mm. 
Okay, so you've got claws. Hmm. Which I've seen things that would break someone like you. Thousand year storm deck list. We don't have it completed yet. We're just donated for that deck. There was a donation for that deck earlier. Don't have a complete deck list for that for that one yet. Oh, they have Vivian. I should bottom that. Too late. No one knows the wilds like I do. What can I march for here? Four, five, six. I can just march for enough to just to kill Carnage Tyrant. That's worth it. All right, then I got to deal with their Vivian before it ultimates. Meet my newest friend. Yo, yeah, well, I was assuming that I was going to use. Spires of Ro if I if I use Spires of Roska on their Midnight Reaper, or I could just let my Vivian die. Yeah, I can just let my Vivian die. All right, I guess I have to cast this thing right now. Um, ah, strike yeah, me, die. and you strike nature. I need to. I, I'm worried about their Vivian. I'm. I'm glad I let Vivian die. Gonna have four creatures die. This is rough. We're in a bad spot. Scars are lessons written in skin. This is nothing. Okay, at least at least I don't have to worry about Vivian ultimating now. I used all my resources. Cost me everything. We don't have to worry about that. Oh, I could I could shuffle with Field of Ruin. The thing is, is besides, I mean, I can't. I don't have Field of Ruin in play right now. But besides. It's another land. Besides that settle down there, I guess there's that also that also that Karn. There's a lot of cards down here I don't want. There's certainly one other settle that I need. Sortooth's good.
Dawn of Hope, Path of Discovery, and Immortal Sun. The wilds That's are certainly an option. Shield. Immortal Sun would be great in this matchup. Man, if I'd block this Carnage Tyrant and kill it. Start by drawing a card. Cast that one. Just how am I going to deal with this Vivian, though? The thing is, Vivian's just going to get them so many, so many creatures, turn after turn after turn. I only have one cell of the wreckage left. Game's not over yet. It's not looking great for us, though. Um, oh wait, let's just cancel. I, guess, I was thinking about just getting a land with this thematic compass, but then it'll be trans. But then it'll be flips. Actually, other thematic compass is a really good draw. Balance comes. And where, that settle should be coming up here soon. Where's it at? It's down there. Gonna do. I mean, we need more. We need more Donifopes, for sure. So there's one other, one other March of the Multitudes. What are they gonna do with Finality? Finality's gonna kill all their things. Do they want to kill all their things? I'm not gonna use seal away. I was thinking about using seal away on that thing, but I'm not gonna use it. I'm just gonna block like that. Man, if I have cleansing nova, so I could I could shuffle away that finality with field of ruin. You can't you can't get exiled. Yeah, you can't get exiled things. So they could they could find two branch walkers. So assuming they're gonna finality here. Um, so do I want Evolving Wilds and shuffle this settle, or do I want to just leave it there? Could just leave it there. Come to me. There's the march. I wish with these Vivian, all these Vivian tick ups, we would be able to really see like where the cards are in our library. I wish it wasn't random order. No one knows the wilds. Yeah, like there's no I Novas do. in the deck. All right, hey Henry. Box, 
So one, two, three, four, five. I'm, I'm most likely just going to draw two cards off these Archer Varazkas. Wow. My opponent does not care about Settle the Wreckage. Okay, now they do. They certainly want to kill Vivian. I don't really care about Vivian dying. I mean, Citywide Bust would kill two creatures on this battlefield. One, two, one, two. Oh, so it's going to be like that, huh? Oh, because I missed typed quickly. Let's type in quickly. There you go. Game's not over. Z7 Moon. Really, still, just like before, the most difficult thing that our opponent has is this Vivian Reed. I don't care about these creatures. That Vivian Reed, though. That one's gonna be tough. Also, us only drawing lands certainly made that a little tougher. Where are we at for the settle? How many cards down? I play Vivian, I tick up for four, and then it's four away. So it's like draw two, and then draw two more. Where do I want to just... So play Vivian, tick up. Hey Pangeo. Wild meat, my newest friend. All right, there was a dawn of hope. We'll be shuffling soon. Do I need a shuffle for this Karn that my opponent's gonna play? I really wanted. I mean, I know I have settled the wreckage right there. So I gotta, I play treasure map, scry, scry. Draw an extra card with Arch of Arazka. Nope, no cleansing Novas. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Nope. I have one more settle the wreckage in the deck, and that's it. No. Game's still not over, Matthew. I win with Dawn of Hope and March of the Multitudes. Biggest problem is Vivian killing Dawn of Hopes, though. They would draw 22 and take 22 if we Nova'd right now, which would basically deck them. Should I block 
Midnight Reaper and let them draw two, or one of these other things and draw two. I think I think me milling them out is like a, a good way that we win this game. So let's block a Jade Light Ranger. Let them draw two there. Yeah, I think us milling them out is like our, our realistic way to strike win. Strike me, and you strike me. Ah. Most wounds can heal. Yeah, I could have killed a branch walker too. I killed the the four three over the three two. I don't really care if they explore another time. Let us begin. You may regret that choice. Oh, you mean I could have just used one of these to kill a 2-1? I see what you're saying. I'm not sure if I want to mill them out that aggressively, but I see what you're saying. Like, we st we still have a March of the Multitudes. Oh, I sh Wait, I need to... Yeah, I need to keep Settle there. I need to upkeep stop. I forgot about this treasure map. Upkeep stop. Honestly, I don't think I need that. Or we're at in the game. Because I need to get to the settle. So, uh, my turn. Upkeep. Scry. That's a good one. But if I keep this... If I keep this, I have to... I have to draw two with Arch of Orozco's? I can do that. Just, just, just keep the card. I want this card. This happened. It's our last basic. <laughs> it's our last basic. So these evolving wilds don't do anything. Do I need to kill this memorial to folly? I don't think so. I guess maybe I should so they can't get Carnage Tyrant back. You can't stop nature. All right, they're down to 18 cards. And nothing is ever true. I assume they have three Carnage Tyrants, so I assume that we've gotten rid of one. This is like a second. That'd be my assumption. Wasted life, why wouldn't you waste it? So I'm just sacrificing a land here to destroy their memorial so they can't get Carnage Tyrant back if I do block with Sword Tooth and a, and a creature. I don't, I don't have anything to... Like, you know, obviously I don't care about Jade Light. I don't have any basics to get. 
Alright, so... I guess I should keep Evolving Wilds in hand. It's still Vivian is the problem. I need to draw Dawn of Hope. The wilds are my shield. So if you yeah. Hey Flip. I'm right here. I should probably count that, right? So it's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So X is 21 unless we use the spires. If, it, if we use the spires, then it's 24. So how many creatures do they have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I'm thinking, how can I kill this Vivian? That's what I'm thinking. We're gonna have 26 creatures attack Vivian. Some solutions must be built. Oh, yeah, I really need to wait. Oh my god, finality would be the worst. Oh my gosh. I really need to wait. I don't know why I was thinking it was like end step, because then, yeah, they activate the card. And, uh, yeah, finality would be the worst here. So if I block with all, I get 17. Yeah, I really need to wait. I just forgot about finality. I was just I was just really just thinking about combat so much that I just wasn't thinking about finality there. Uh, if if I block with all 17 survive and with their amount of blockers, I don't get to do a whole lot of damage on um, on Vivian. This is gonna be annoying. How do they not have an attack all at a planeswalker button? Do this 18 more times. Is there a faster way to do this? That I know of? Or does anybody. This is really annoying. There's not? Okay. I'm gonna have like some rope counting down here being annoying in a little bit. I'm just trying to attack. Stop being a little laggy there. Just click. Okay. Imagine if you had 200 tokens. Ugh. Oh, yeah. The opponent may not be able to finality with how many Reapers they have. 14 cards left in library. I look forward to playing games like this on my phone. <laughs> yep. 
Yeah, it looks like they're blocking with 2-1 Branch Walker and 1-1 Lalo or Elves. That's six, that'd be six cards they would get to that they would draw. Alright, we still need to find Dawn of Hope. Oh, I should have I should have activated our Taraska first, because Dawn of Hope I could draw cards. Actually, I don't really want to draw cards. I don't want to mill out. All right, I don't know what's happening. I'm clicking okay, though. Uh, I've seen squirrels hit harder. All right, I, I drew one too many cards. I am now... I drew one too many cards. I'm now going to deck first before my opponent. We're both at 13. Crap. Evil cannot withstand a righteous army. All right, where's Dawn of Hope? There you are. There you are. Oh, say hello to my little friend. Ogalix, sub number four of the day. Thank you so much for that support. Thank you, Ogalix. Uh, my opponent does not know I have Settle, but they have been assuming it and have been playing around it. But they don't know that I have it for sure. Yeah, this is the first game in a best of three. Yeah. This is what this deck that I'm playing does. I've been playing this for over two hours now, and we have played basically no matches. I hope my opponent finalities. Finality will kill them. Yeah, I'm certainly blocking this thing to kill it so that they will mill first. And now I may even be able to activate Karn. I'll just draw a card with that. Right, so I'm at 11. They're down to nine. I mean, I have an outside. I don't think I need to kill lots of tokens. I have an outside shot of having 40 extra attackers than they do, right? I mean, it's certainly an outside shot. What's a shot? Evil must not be tolerated. I haven't done no math yet. <laughs> there is great power in the things we make. Let me just field the room back. Can I take up Karn? Nope. I 
How many tokens are we making a turn? Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nine. I don't know. We'll just see at the end step here. How many tokens are we making? One. Oh, we do have Wasteland Crucible combo, don't we? Just for, like, these things. Get them down to 12 mana. 12 is probably enough. And boom! We are getting ready for game two. Y'all were telling me to concede that I had no chance. Everybody was saying the game was over. And I had no chance. How long was that game? Way too long. That was game one. Yep. Everybody in chat was telling me to concede. Okay, I think like my plan is Spyglass for Vivian. Yeah, Spyglass Vivian. So I'm going to take out Vivian. Honor Guard coming on in. Seal away something. I don't know what yet. Maybe I don't need Seal away. Oh yeah, my opponent could have beat me, but they were really scared to seal of settle the wreckage the whole time. That's what settle the wreckage does. No, that can't be right. Just taking out seal away. That can't be right. We didn't need seal away that game because we had an early settle for them. They got two Karn. They got two Karn. Theoretically, we could spy glass Karn also. They had Karn for some reason. <laughs> yeah, Settle's always effective. Yeah, Zombie by the Cranberries is in the playlist somewhere. Um, I don't want to turn up the music too much because I like just getting them back to the settings is actually a little annoying. Woo! That's a big win for me. Yeah, getting uh, Vivian Reed out of here is a big win. On running a Mortal Sun in this. Yeah, I mean, Immortal Sun could possibly be better than Vivian. I mean, it's certainly better in this matchup. So, like, maybe in this matchup, have Immortal Suns in the sideboard. Okay. Maybe you don't need, like, Spyglass. Dang. Um. Hold down. Might as well. So we're at four, five, six. So I think, is this gonna be enough permanence? Yeah. Hey, Big Papa Jack. Carnage Tyrant, Golden Demise. Well, where's this Vivian Reed? I guess I should probably play around. 
probably play around Golden Demise a little bit. I'm not playing my land here, because I play my land, the Thaumatic Compass transforms, and I'd rather the Thaumatic Compass just give me another land. I can just play both lands next turn with Sword Tooth. So I, f I feel like I can just get an extra card draw in here. Now, do I... Do I flip Thaumatic Compass now? Yeah. Yeah. Because next turn, I can I can just end step March next turn. Now, and like, kill them. And we just get to March for nine. And then they, they dead. This should be game. Yep, that's game. This game took not nearly as long as the last one. Yeah, that was a lot faster. Good old sorcerer speed, golden demise. Instant speed, march with multitudes. Slightly faster, thank god for that. <laughs> okay. Three and one. Whew. We had to work for that win. I had to throw away tons of tokens just to get rid of Vivian. We had to work for that win. All right, we got a pack. Let's open a pack to celebrate that win. A Narc Amoeba. Narc Amoeba. First game takes an hour, second game it takes two minutes. All right, so... Yeah, whatever, I mean, I have, I have the other list up, and it looks like this is, you know, basically the same thing, just... Just tell me what to change whenever we get to that. Tell me what to change real quick in the other deck and I'll, you know, I'll make the changes. Um Certainly I keep thinking about how we're going to do this. I guess I'm going to go Yeah, I'm going to go Land War Elf and then Treasure Map plus Evolving Wilds and then Karn. Yeah, I guess I could, or you you need green and white mana to double, be able to double march. So you'd have to like keep like one of your green creatures or green mana sources untapped. Getting another forest here, just in case Landmar Elf dies. I want two green for Vivian Reed. Their deck size is normal. Of good. All right, well, one of those is getting discarded. They have another disinformation campaign. Yeah. Yep, we'll get rid of this evolving wilds. What do you think of a possible Orzhov aristocrat? deck with this card spoiled now. I feel like I mean there's definitely going to be the aristocrat decks. I don't think you need to just limit it to two colors necessarily. A balance comes. Um but yeah, there's certainly going to be aristocrat decks. Um Yeah, I'm thinking Mardu Looks pretty good. Yeah, 
Originally, we were going to be playing Grixis Legends today, but we got um, a donation, de another donation deck, Thousand Year Storm. All right, so I'm going to be playing, uh, or I'm going to be using Karn to get back Wayward Swordtooth, so I can have lots of lands. I could just destroy this disinformation campaign here. Nah, we'll keep taking up. You can't stop another sword tooth. Nature. All right, another sword tooth. Do I care if I discard Thaumatic Compass? Not really. Let's guard the Thaumatic Compass. Aristocrats is a style of deck of basically sacrificing your own, of like small, um, of small creatures that you don't mind sacrificing. You sacrifice them for value. Yeah, I'll take that. Okay. Opponent just just done. At all those campaigns. All them campaigns. Karn and Vivian too strong. Seeloys are probably good, but our, our opponent does get to play around Seeloy with them making us discard a lot of things. It's the problem with Seeloy and Settle here. We just go Carnage Tyrant Ult. The thing is, like, Doom Whisperer is a real problem. I guess we'd have, like, basically just Vivian. And then Thaumatic Compass. So Vivian and Thaumatic Compass enough to deal with Doom Whisperer. Cool, I've never played Thousand Year Storm. It's going to be a new experience for me. Um, sapl Would Sapling Decks be Aristocrat? Not really. It's not usually built around tokens too much. But I guess kind of. I don't think I need to Spyglass anything. I think this is what I'm going to go with. Going. I could also see just not playing March of the Multitudes and playing like Seal Away instead of March of the Multitudes. I could certainly see doing that. Because with how with how Demir decks limit your resources, it's hard for March of the Multitudes to really be very valuable of a card. I'm, no, we'll just play March. That's what our deck is very good at expanding the resources. Um, I wouldn't. I would not expect Playcrafter or Chupacabra. I would think it's more likely they don't have those cards than they do have those cards. I'm thinking their creatures are probably Doom Whisperer, Dream Eater, and. The three one that we saw, whatever the name of that card is, Blood Operative, with Dream Meter being the least like, least likely, but still pretty likely. You can Spyglass Doom Whisperer to keep them from surveilling, but the six six body will still kill you. And the 6-6 six, six body is what I would be most worried about. Alright, so we got, we got a negate out of our hand with that compass. Exactly what I wanted.
full yeah I think shift control I, I believe if you if you press shift control it will hold full control mode I believe hmm. we would have drawn the land and been able to play Karn I didn't want to risk it though Um, treasure, other treasure map or compass? I think other treasure map. Oh, it's control shift. Okay. All right, we got the land on top for Vivian to kill Doomister. The Eldest Reborn is certainly a car that I could certainly see them see having, and Eldest Reborn killing Vivian here is a little rough for us. I should have also, I should have scried with this treasure map and used one treasure and had the, the, the land flipped. I just kind of hastily Let's cast that. This place apart. Where's Hawkeye? No one said restoration was painless. I don't see him up there right now, but it, I can't really see my entire bed, but he's probably up there on the bed. There goes Carney T. No Eldest Reborns. That's very good for us. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to take Vivian, but I, I feel like Vivian is just going to... Um, I feel like Vivian would likely... No one knows the wilds like I do. Well, dang. Eat a uh, discard spell, is what I was getting to. I don't necessarily need to kill this um, Doom Whisper because I'll have the uh, Spires of Araska that deals with it. So I'll just take out Vivian. I've seen things that would break someone like you. And we'll get more Carnage Irons. I could use all my treasures and just cast another Carnage Tyrant here. I honestly don't hate that. My favorite deck in Standard? I mean, there's so many I like. Worth. Do it. Let's do it. Vivian's they can get us enough can get us enough card advantage. They have to be pretty careful about how much they surveil how much life they lose with surveilling. Moment craving.
Could you tell if we will be able to use rare dual lands after rotation? When the when the rare dual lands rotate, you will not be able to use them anymore. So there's not a rotation until the fall of this year, but in the fall of this year, your lands like Sun Petal Grove and Drowned Catacomb and all, all those kind of lands, those will rotate and you'll not be able to use those in standard anymore. They're likely going to have another format for those, but not in standard. All right, four and one. This deck is sweet, but I did not really realize how long the games were going to take to play this <laughs> deck. We're already two, two hours, 40 minutes into the stream. And we've played five matches. <laughs> yeah, so it was just selecting whatever color. I think... I used the first one for green, so I just was using all the rest of them for green um, for the treasures there. No, you do not do not lose Guilds of Ravnica for rotation. Guilds of Ravnica will still be around. Hey, Dawn of Hope. Forgot we were a Dawn of Hope deck. So you lose... Yeah. Rivals, Ixalan, Dominaria, Corset 2019. The other four sets that are currently on Arena will all rotate out. Alright, got Dawn of Hope in play against the blue-black deck before they could make us discard it. Which is great. Oh, it's Esper. Esper has ways to deal with enchantments. How good is Forest New and Golgari Spider from your deck lists? Uh, Golgari Spider is pretty sweet. What's Forest New? I like Golgari Spider. Yeah, this is the final boss. Yep. Good call. Good call there. This is the final boss because uh, we're at 4 1. If we lose, we're done. If we win, we win. Final boss time. Good thing I didn't use a stop there, because Karn is perfect. Uh, how are we doing on permanence? Four, I'm five, one. six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm just going to minus two this. Make it ten. Some solutions must be so we can uh, come on in here with this sword tooth. And I'd, I'd still rather get a Skrizzle going on with this treasure map than attack for one. Hey, looking to mess around with Black White Knights. Didn't you play that one on here? Absolutely. Yep, There's. A, I have a really good Orzhov Knights deck um, in the decks. You can find it in there. You can find a... You can find a video of me playing it on the YouTube channel as well. Ritual of Soot would get us. All right, you got me. Ah, most wounds can heal. Well chosen. Well chosen. Taking up Karn to be able to, um. Get another scry with this treasure map. We're going to be able to attack for a lot this next turn. Well, that leaves our opponent very dead. I'll just... Yeah. I mean... Treasure map's going to transform. And make this token thing bigger. Make them both five fives. Allow me to introduce you to a friend of mine. And get some more dialogue. That was a quick win. That was a quick win. Didn't even activate our Dawn of Hope that we played on turn two. Out of all the cards revealed so far, I can't believe I'm most excited about an uncommon Rhythm of the Savages is gonna be great in my Naya Dinos deck. Oh yeah, that is perfect for Naya Dinos for sure. 
Let's do the same thing. Vivian in, Carnage Tyrant in, the Settle the Wreckages and Sealaways out. Um, and then I think I want a Spyglass over a Compass here. Yep, definitely want the Spyglass. And I think that's it. So, call it a day. Could certainly see playing Dawnbringer over other comp Compi? Compasses? Hmm. I don't know. I'm in some it. Yeah, this aggro deck is really cool. <laughs> no, our opponent's not playing creatures. Honor Guard's not going to do anything. They're winning with uh, Teferi and then like a Chromium. Ch -ch changes. Sounds good. I don't think they'll have Dream Eater. It's possible they have Dream Eater. I don't think they will, though. I would put it at like 33% chance they have Dream Eater. Alright, you can Evolving Wilds, I can Evolving Wilds, too. But yeah, some, some Esper decks definitely do play at 3 meters, so it's certainly possible they have it. Oh man. So, I don't want Dawn of Hope to get countered, so I'm leading with Treasure Map there. Time may change me. want another land. Wow, those are just both resolved? How are these things resolving? So yeah, that's the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash C slash Todd Stevens MTG. If you want to watch some replays there, I would be very appreciative. This one's not going to resolve then, right? We are going to have so much treasure. I know my responsibility. Keep up the pace. Way down we go. Oh, treasure. Oh, Cleansing Nova? Wow, Cleansing Nova is a rough card. Cleansing Nova would be rough. Do you use all these treasures? So if I if I want to play, if I want to play Carnage Tyrant, I have to use every single one of those treasures. All right, turned up the the music very slightly. Right there. Um. Oh, you haven't seen anybody listening to Calio before? This is a good song. No, they're just going to Eldest Reborn away my Carnage Tyrant. I don't really want that to happen. Yeah, let's let's get Dawn, Dawn of Hope in play. We can make some make some little one ones that can kind of make their life a little more difficult. Open up ten packs and you gotten three rare wild cards. What? That's a good day right there. We need there. to move quickly. So now I could use all my treasures to make a one one. Doesn't sound too appealing. Let's look for sp Sorcerer Spyglass. 
Pretty good card to, to have. Right now I got what? Not a lot of mana. Yeah, it was highlighting the forest. Ah, I'm not in the main phase. I'm going to play Crucible Worlds here, even though that means we're going to have to use more treasures to make a, a token. But I think just, I think we need to continue to hit land drops. I think that this is just going to be worth it in the long run. Yeah, Teferi is close to ulting. Yeah, you can untap by using the button button key. The Z key on your keyboard. Z. Untaps. Yeah, Crucible animation is great. Certainly one of the best things about our deck. I honestly made us use all these treasures to make two two creatures here. Okay, I just learned about the whole set rotation thing of magic since I'm a noob. No now I'm curious how will it work in MTGA? Will they take our cards away or what? No. I mean, we, like, I don't think you're not going to lose your cards. They're, they just won't be legal in standard anymore. You'll have your cards in your account, but you won't be able to, to play them in standard. Um... They will likely be making another format where you are able to use those cards. You still get use out of them, but they should still just they'll just stay in your account. Um. So three, four. So I'll still be able to make two tokens next turn if I use all these. Make them have two removal spells here. Yeah. Got to kind of protect against the fairy. Dawn of Hope should get us enough enough value to make this worth it. Okay. Now. So now that their things didn't, or like now that Teferi didn't ult, I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna go ahead and play Carnage Tyrant. I'll draw a card and play Carnage Tyrant. I should have cracked Evolving Wilds first for a forest first. Uh, to make to make it a, a smaller chance that I draw a forest, because of course I, I don't want to draw a basic land with me having these evolving wilds. And now we have we have some tokens that protect Carnage Tyrant from Eldritch Reborn. They're getting rid of Moment of Craving. I guess they do have the mana for gold. They do have the mana for Golden Demise plus Eldritch Reborn. I mean, I think they have probably like Eldritch Reborns, Vrasus Contempts, stuff like that, all sorts of removal like that. Yeah, cast downs, lots of removal like that. So they're just using a cast down and then untapping that mana. They could certainly have Settle the Wreckage. Certainly could be a thing. I don't think I... 
Do I play around it by only attacking with Carnage Tyrant? I'm certainly attacking with Carnage Tyrant. I guess I only need to, uh, to attack with Carnage Tyrant. If they have Chromium and block with Chromium, then I would have wished I would attack with the 1-1. One, one. They may have, like, this more Teferis in their hand. How oh, they're just taking this. Let's see, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I don't really need... Let's just get another one of these in play. I'll just have the... Uh, I'll have the ability to make two tokens and scry with treasure map. And so I'm, you know, shuffling with Evolving Wilds before scrying. Mm -hmm. We're down to two basics left. I think the Crucible certainly helped us out. You know, like we were... I think the Crucible letting us hit these land drops was nice. You know, obviously we've drawn two lands since then, but we didn't have lands at the time. No, I don't really play Paper Magic anymore. No. Streaming every day here. 3 to 10 Eastern. If you're new to the channel, welcome. You can find me here each each and every day playing uh, fun standard decks. I like to just brew up decks like this one that we're playing. And play new stuff all the time. That's good. That's good. Um, would I rather have Vivian get countered than if they have Counterspell? Would I rather Vivian get countered than Spyglass? That's actually a tough question. Spyglass may be more valuable than Vivian. Spyglass probably is more valuable. I'm not losing everything again. Well, I, I do kind of want to see if they have settled the wreckage. So I'm doing this pre-combat. I would like that information. Nah. Let's attack here. And settle. It's, they'll have to only have negate to be able to counter spyglass if they settle. They can certainly syncopate this, but oh well. I'm certainly expecting at least one copy of Eldest Reborn, if not more, and then other removal in their hand. The good thing about playing this here, though, is it does not allow them just to insight right away. And we have Feel the Ruin for as can to the Sunken Ruin. I think we're gonna win this. I'm feeling pretty good about this. There's a golden demise. So they they do not have Eldest Reborn then, because if they had Eldest Reborn, they would have just gold demised Eldest Reborn. So they definitely do not have Eldest Eldest Reborn. And of course, we do have Field of Ruin with Crucible here, where we could run them out of basics, given enough time. They're not likely a deck with many basics.
Any advice on combining shirt and necktie colors? Yeah, just kind of just go with go with go by feel, you know, like go by like what what you believe looks good. Um, you know, I I always just kind of start by like whatever like I pick out a shirt I want to wear and then whenever I'm and then at, then I just go over to the to my huge rack of ties and pick out a tie that looks good with the shirt. If you show remorse, I'll show respect. Thanks, Feratopia. Hurry! Field plus Crucible is the poor man's Teferi emblem. <laughs> Basically. And I have the Dawn of Hope activation up here. Uh, if they did have a an Eldritch Reborn. But that's going to be it. Five and one for Selesnya Control Lands. Getting it done. I am 32. All right, and we get a pack. We get a pack to celebrate. Let's crack it open. See if we get Tajik. That's my pick, it's Tajik. Ah, uh, it was a Boros card. Gotta like those week weekly packs. But yeah, Selesnya Control lands. Deck felt pretty awesome. It was, it was a lot of fun to play. Uh, it certainly takes a long time. That was a three-hour three-hour league, so it certainly takes a long time. But um, let's uh, yeah. If if you want to, you know, do something a little different, you want to play Wayward Sword Tooth and Crucible and just get lots and lots of lands in play, and then eventually win the game with something. But you have like lots and lots of lands. Um, yeah, go ahead. Whatever, I mean. Then, um, yeah, check out, um, you know, try this deck out. Selesnia Control Lands. That's what I was calling it. It's not, doesn't really roll off the tongue, but, um, because I have Golgari Aggro Lands, I wanted to have Control Lands as well. So, after Wizard, given a fifth sub to the channel, let's go ahead and let's get a pack. Thank you so much, After Wizard. Gift and a sub out there to Ferratopia. Very kind. So there's our fifth sub for five wins. So let's get another pack. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and pick the pack here. I uh, won't do a little poll here because we're finishing up the YouTube video there also. So I'm gonna pick. What set I'm gonna pick? I think I'm gonna go with. Let's go with Rivals. And Whatever Main gets a sub as well. Hey, Cheerios. We are about to play Whatever Main's deck up next, Abzan Midrange. What about that green legendary avatar that gets stronger with every land? Yeah, I thought about that card. Um, and I, I had it kind of in the deck originally. Um, but I decided... Basically, you know, we don't have... Lots of slots there. I just think Dawn of Hope stronger. I think that people can answer Planeswalker, or sorry, creatures very easily, and it's an easy, easily answered creature. And so, thanks after Wizard. All right, Rivals pack, Rivals pack. Let's see what we get. Let's see if we get a World Shaper. That's what we're playing later. Ooh. I picked, I picked rivals because this is probably the set that I have the least of in gen in general. You missed your league rewards. Oh, I did miss the league rewards, didn't I? Bonus hunger. I like this card a lot. That's a good open. That's a good open. Oh yeah, league rewards. We got we get twenty one hundred gold. Claim claim the prize. I didn't claim the prize. Woo! Two mythics. And a rare? Okay, what's our rare? The Mirari Conjecture. Strong card. Underrated card. It's quite strong. Mythics, we got Angrath. <laughs> Please run. A chase stokes uh, the forge. That's a good open. I don't think I had four Angrass at all, so that's definitely a good open. No fire. N no stream. Time Stream Navigator, another great open. I definitely did not have four of these. So that's that's a good open, for sure. 
<laughs> Moo! Yeah. Just Minotaur, Pirate, Planeswalker. That's just a cool card. I always like this card. No fire, no time stream. All right. Great league. So if you're watching on, on YouTube, hit the subscribe button. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the, the deck. And remember, you can check out the Twitch stream also live from 3 to 10 Eastern at twitch.tv slash ToddStevensMTG.